Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. One thing we talk a lot about here, especially right now, is growing food to impact your your diet, like food security. Not necessarily like on a diet, like I'm watching what I eat, but just literally controlling your food intake and taking charge of your own food security. Hey, kiddos, watch out, girls. I'm in. There's obviously a lot of ways you can do that. And when people think about gardening and growing food, you know, you talk about the typical little you know, plants, some tomato plants, pepper plants, maybe some green beans, some squash, zucchini, and maybe some corn. Those are the typical things you think about in cucumbers when you're talking about planting and growing food. Hey, thanks. There's one egg. Beautiful egg. Egg in there. You've already laid one today. Anything under you? Oh, yep. Who's is that? Good job, Bella. This egg does not belong to her, by the way. What about you? Egg under you, too. I don't know whose that is. What? <laughs> Sorry, the girls are loud right now. Whew. Especially Tootie. But. So there's all those things. That's a typical way you think about growing food because that's how you garden, right? That's how you grow food. That's, that's, the, things you, that's the things you plant. But I was thinking about it today and like we obviously talk about planting what you eat, growing what you eat. When, well, if you think about all three of your meals, if you have three meals a day, you have breakfast, okay. You got some eggs, breakfast, cool. You know, lunch and dinner or supper and well, okay, that's so then you're growing things that your family eats for supper. I feel like we always think about breakfast and supper, but we kind of forget about the one in the middle, right? And I mean, personally, Angela stays here during the day. I have a full time job that I go to because I mean, this, this isn't a full time job here, but we have a little bit of space, right? This is the back of the yard, so it's half acre. We have space we grow plenty of food in, but I'm going to work during the day, regular job, and I need lunch. I, how about growing your own lunch? That's, that right there, I think is something that may be lost on a lot of people. We have this bed here that we planted a lot of basil in last year. And so it's been worked through pretty good, but had something in it. And we kind of, we, so we worked on it recently, some weeds in it here and there, and the old basil stalks um, from last year. But I think we can use it to grow something for lunch. Several things you can grow for your lunch. Depends on obviously your taste buds. Your eggs you can still use for lunch. So if you want to grow part of your own lunch, eggs are a good start. Now I've also mended this soil with some, just really simple, some bone meal and some um, worm castings. Very simple. Doesn't need a whole lot of, of amending for this. But it does, if you're using soil that's been used before it's going to need a little bit of a little bit of extra juice right so just kind of mix it in lightly no big deal this method right here fits in so well with what angela and i are really trying to focus in on a lot this year which is growing bulk food in a small space so planting things that you can grow a lot of a lot of one thing in a small amount of space so it's using your it's using your land and your space efficiently and using your seeds efficiently and growing food in a super efficient manner and if all these things are efficient it makes your life a lot more productive first thing we're putting in here is this bronze I mean whatever that is lettuce all right we're going to use it in a cut and come again method so i've just raked this soil back just a little bit just the top little bit of the soil brought back to here okay very important just a little bit and I'm using about a third of the space in this bed for this lettuce. And for a cut and come again method, just lightly sprinkle your seeds across. I've already sprinkled some in there so this is just finishing it off. Just lightly sprinkle across. Don't have to worry about spacing too much because you're going to let it grow up, produce baby greens essentially, and cut them off and let it keep going. But for lettuce seeds, you just lightly cover them back over. That's why it's important to have your, your soil just lightly, lightly drifted over, right? because they're so small it's like grass seeds that you can easily wash them out so just do that and wet them down really well we're going to do the same thing in the next space for this red romaine lettuce and then 
We're gonna do a little, a little spacing here with the spinach, okay? Just to plant some baby greens. The point of this is to make it so simple that you can easily grow your lunch in your backyard. No matter how much space you have, no matter how much you feel like you don't have time for it, this is easy gardening. Easy gardening done small space easily. And this method will work for anybody, whether or not you work from home, work at home, or whether or not you have to go daily to your job like I do, we're gonna just do whatever we can, you know, to make sure that I can take something to work that we've grown healthier. It's probably a little cheaper. I'm not having to deal with, you know, a cold cut sandwich all the time, which by the way, I don't know a lot. Angel's really gonna get me leftovers, which are delicious. But either way, it provides some little, little, um, little different flavors, a little different ideas. Especially in the summertime, a lighter option because you don't always feel like a, a heavy amount of protein. So it's going to be really good. And honestly, you can do it even if you're the only one in your house who wants to grow a little bit of garden. You can do it just like this. You can plant yourself a green stalk. Now this is a new a new color they're doing. Um, this is called Cherry Blossom. It just, just released this week. It's on sale right now through April 12th. And it's going to be like fifty dollars off of the cherry blossom does it in the in the new basket we design or or uh or the original design this five tier five tiers or uh seven tier leaves or the inventors bundle which is a good mix of all of them they sent us this one so we can show it off it's a beautiful color and it's not super masculine it's okay <laughs> a little color in the backyard doesn't hurt it goes with all the other colors they currently have as well and it's a super easy way to plant whatever you want whether like if you just want a small garden that's just one person going to be eating out of it and you want a small garden you can plant it all in a green stalk it would be tomatoes kale spinach lettuce peppers cucumbers whatever you want to grow you can grow it inside these things they're amazing and they're a beautiful way to get a small garden to impact your food security in a positive manner and your health in a positive manner and you get into the description, use our link and our code and our promo code ART10, A-R-T-1-0, and you're going to get an extra $10 off of your purchase of one of these things while they're on sale. So you're going to get $50 off plus another $10 off. Good time to buy them. And also, it's a good Mother's Day present. What mother don't like something pink? All right, and there we have it. Now, this one we planted with uh, lettuce. For, we're going to plant for lettuce heads. That's why we, as you see here, what we put, put in there was... Um, we use like one, like individual lettuce seeds the best we could. Uh, obviously, you're not going to get one singular lettuce seed in there, so we put a few in each spot. Try to, try to make it singular because like, we're trying to grow lettuce heads. And we can thin uh, as, they, as they germinate if we have too many in there. We can just thin out because so, we're trying to grow lettuce heads in this one. So we put lettuce, lettuce, spinach, spinach, and then lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Little gem butterhead is what we can grow in the top three. We love that one. It's a small head of lettuce that you can actually find in the store these days because it's becoming super popular. We also decided we was going to put one pocket of flowers in each one just to kind of give it some some um, some color and some life. A little pizzazz, if you will. And so Angela K wanted to put some four o'clocks in, in here. So we put one pocket of four o'clocks in each tier so this is a seven tier leaf we have 42 pockets it's gonna be 36 full of lettuce and spinach and again we're growing food in bulk and that's so this is a, a good bulk way of growing greens for salads and it'll give me a lot of good lunches for work that's a it's a big deal right there and again if you got somebody that you want to you just want to kind of have yourself a small garden for yourself you can do all kinds of things in here and it's awesome and this is going to provide us with a lot of good greens. So thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. We love you. God bless you and goodbye.